Hi guys, so one of the questions that we've been asked the most so far since we've started this journey, I think, is how do we get our salt if we're not buying things at the grocery store? Uh, and the answer is right in front of you. So we get our salt from uh, the ocean, it's actually pretty simple. And all we do is dehydrate some ocean water and start by boiling it down and uh, then finish it off uh, in the oven, which we're gonna show you all that. Um, but to start, all we're gonna do is gather four liters of ocean water um, and get that going here. Now normally we would get it from the boat because it's further out, there'd be less chance of seaweed um, and little debris and stuff like that getting in here, but uh, with the boat being broken, we're just getting it off the shore, which is totally fine as well. Um, and we're boiling it down anyway, so it's going to kind of kill any bacteria or anything that would hurt you anyway. So that's all you do to start, four liters of ocean water, and we'll take this up top and start boiling it down. We've got our uh, four liters of ocean water that we got out there. So first step is honestly just super simple. We're just going to start boiling this down. Um, we're going to put it on a full boil just to kind of help it along quickly. And probably going to leave it on for about an hour and 20 minutes. Um, again, if you're using different amounts of water, you'll kind of have to gauge it. But basically you want to get it down to about two thirds of what the water was. And then we're going to reduce the temperature. If you start to leave it up too high for the entire thing, you're going to burn the salt. It's going to stick to the bottom of your pan. Um, even if there's still water above it, it'll start condensing to the bottom. Um, so we're just going to boil it down until it's about two or a third of what it was uh, and get rid of two thirds of the water. And then we're going to reduce the heat. Uh, but to start just on as high as you can, let that boil for about an hour and 20 minutes. Um, you're not going to put a lid on it because you want it to evaporate. So if you're inside, open a window if you can, let the moisture out. And we'll check back in about an hour and 20 minutes. All right, so we timed that pretty well. It's been about an uh, hour and 20 minutes uh, since we started putting it on a high boil. And we got it to the exact level we want. It's about two thirds gone, a third of it left. And you can come and see now that it's boiled right down. Uh, originally it was up at these rivets there. Uh, and now it's uh, reduced down to that amount. And you can see the salt starting to come off as well and kind of stick to the sides of the pan. So that's definitely when you want to start turning it down. So we're gonna put it down to about a two or a three. And you still want it to be steaming, but you don't want any bubbles coming off the bottom. And that's when that start, the salt will start to stick. So turn that down to a two or three, make sure it's still steaming a bit. And we're gonna reduce it a little bit more and leave it for about another hour. And we'll check back in with you then. All right, so we've had that on uh, going on low at about three for the last hour and a half. Uh, and that's brought that down as you can see. Uh, almost all the liquid's gone, there's still a bit in there. So we're still gonna leave that for maybe about 10 more minutes just to let that uh, fully dry out. Um, and then we're gonna get it into the oven just to finish it off. So um, again, really important, once it gets to this point, make sure you're keeping an eye on it. It gets a little more time consuming at this point because you don't wanna let it overcook or you'll ruin your pan and waste all your efforts so far. So um, yeah, just start keeping an eye on it. We're gonna leave it for about 10 more minutes and uh, we'll come back and get it in the oven to finish it off. So we've left that for about another 10 minutes and that's gotten down the consistency that we want uh, before we start putting it in the oven. You can see there that it's kind of getting hard but there's still some like moisture in there. So that's kind of the point you want to get it to before we move it into the oven just to finish off so it doesn't dry out in the pan. So we're going to scoop all of this out. I've always found it really amazing how much salt comes out of one gallon of, of, uh, of ocean water. You wouldn't think there was that much salt in there. but. It may not look like it because that's a pretty big pan. Get all this out. Into your pan and just spread it out as best as you can. Just so it can air out evenly. And for putting it in the oven, we're just going to put it on as low as your oven will go. You really don't want it going very hot at all. So we're going to put it on bake. The lowest our oven goes is 170. So we're gonna put it right down to that and leave it in there. And again, this is gonna be a little bit time consuming because you do wanna keep an eye on it uh, just to make sure it doesn't dry out too much. Um, otherwise, it'll stick together in these kind of big clumps that you don't really want. So that's all spread out. I'm gonna put that in the oven, probably check on it in about 10 minutes. Um, and like I said, we're gonna keep a kind of constant eye on it. And uh, we'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's all finished. So it's now been about half an hour since we last checked in and we have sort of pulled it out from the oven, stirred it and moved it around a couple times just to keep an eye on it and make sure it's not getting too dry. And as you can see now, it's kind of gotten to that granular form. 
um, that you would expect from salt. So um, it will continue to dry out a little bit from the heat that's still in there. So we're going to leave it at that for now. And you don't want to get too dry or the salt will kind of clump up into these big, uh, the big balls from there. So that's about how much salt you get out of four liters of ocean water. And we're just going to put it on our scale so we can tell you guys exactly how much we get. So 4.1 ounces, which you know may not seem like a lot, but uh, considering we get a bowl that size out of 4 liters of ocean water, it's pretty good. That's our seasoning.